and this is my first tube about uh, cross stitch and other crafts I do. This is video number three, uh, where I want to talk about my European cross stitch charts, kits, and other stuff I do. Uh, my first cross stitch was about U my Ukrainian stitching, as I'm from Ukraine. And my second one was about my American stitching, because I lived in America uh, for some time. And now I'm living in Italy, so I wanted to show you what I have, um, what do I stitch um, in Europe. <laughs> um, so I have a sad life update. Uh, that I will talk about at the end, because otherwise I, I will cry the rest of the, of the video. But I also have um, positive news. So, last time I asked if you guys would like to see um, cross-stitch shops in Milan, because there are two beautiful shops here. And I contacted owners, and they said, yes, cool, I'm so excited. Yeah, m many of you expressed interest in those videos, so I will challenge my um, blog skills, or how would you call it? <laughs> uh, the person who film, mm, I'm not very proficient with it. But I'm gonna, next week, I'm gonna go to Krusty shops in Milan and film uh, for you guys what they have, what they sell, samples they have. It's gonna be so exciting. I'm looking forward to it very much. So next week, uh, look for those videos. Yeah, and uh, today I am in a new spot because uh, the room, which I think previously is upstairs, and it's so hot there. Oh my goodness. We have now 39 degrees outside in Italy and it's, it is hot. Yeah, so I hope my face is not too red and too sweaty. <laughs> Even with CC, it's, it's difficult. Okay, so a few of my previous finishes. Uh, I wanted to show this one which I finished um, this year or last year, quite recent finish. It is um, made by Crochet Agogo. Uh, it, it, um, I think it's Italian uh, designer and it's a free chart. Uh, so I will link down below where I found them. Yeah, very cute one, very summer. Not sure how I'm going to finish it. I have a little piece of um, um, fabric here, so maybe project bag, maybe like just a flat standing. We'll see. Cute one. I like it. Um, then I have uh, this small finish, which was a bonus chart uh, in December issue of Modern Folk Embroidery 2021 South. Uh, yeah, this cute little pattern. I stitch it um, with just my, um, from my stash, a variegated floss, nothing particular. Um, yeah, so I want to finish it in a little frame, just have on the table as a reminder to be thankful for many things in this life. And since we already started about modern folk embroidery charts, of course, uh, as far as I said, as I've had a bonus chart, of course, I do have a main chart as well. And he... Mm, do I have it? Okay, new spot, not ready, as usual. Give me a second. Here. I even... Look how prepared I am. I even printed a cover photo. But it's absolutely unnecessary because, of course, you all have seen this over internet because so many people stitch it and it's so beautiful. Here is my Fruits of Plenty. Look at that, guys. Isn't it beautiful? This chart is fantastic. It's, it's much larger than I expected it to be. Uh, but um, it's so beautiful. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with my color choices, but it's quite okay. Quite okay. And um, yeah, I enjoy stitching it very much. Uh, it's already 55% done, so I'm very close to the finish. 
uh, not very close, but much closer than my other uh, my other uh, stitches I have. So I enjoy stitching this one very much. And uh, it lives in um, uh, this project bag. I also made it myself. Uh, look, I have a cute uh, holder for it. I made it from a postal card uh, because I started in, in America and I used card 400 and 422 uh, for stitching this uh, piece. Uh, it was out of um, of bag because I was ironing it. And also in this bag, leaves that they want to be a kind of companion piece. Oh my god, it's so hot. So hot. Um, it's also from Modern Funk Embroidery. And it's uh, 2023 South, which is already in... <laughs> Half year in this uh, style is going, but I I will be just starting it. I bought it uh, once Jacob announced it uh, on his uh, first tube at the end of last year. I immediately bought it for love and you know usually uh, usual <laughs> sequence on talents. Um, and I also prepared all the supplies for it, but didn't get a chance to, of starting it. So this month. I participate in Vipco. It's a kind of game uh, organized by Jesse Marie Dasta. And for this num for this month, uh, we have number 13, which for me is not a free space. For me, it's um, it's a new start, a big start. So I want this to be my number 13 in my Vipco. And uh, since I'm having now this um, Start With Me series, I want uh, my next video to be start with me this project. I have fabric. Uh, it's not Zweigert, but it's a uh, similar nice quality fabric. Even weave this color does it show right? Not really. Uh, so I think they will be quite beautiful together as a companion pieces. So the same like gum, the same atmosphere of style. And my colors for this project will be, will it be, okay, no, 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 similar idea, uh, number 930 and uh, 3046. I'm out of practice. So I think it should be beautiful and it should be, guys, <laughs> I'm going to die from heat. <laughs> Somehow um, when it's closer to evening, it's even hotter than it was during the day when the sun was out. Next up is... Oh, this is a cute one. Oh my god, I like this so much. So I was, I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was browsing internet or something like that. Am I sweaty? <sighs> Italy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I've seen uh, the cover photo of this magazine. Uh, it's from Czech. Uh, check magazine and look oh, how cute this picture is. I love stitching cats. You know when I'm uh, when I'm putting together my videos and I'm like I stitch so many cats. I should call my channel not a heritage stitching but a cat stitching. <laughs> yeah, and here's another cat. I love it. It's so cute. Uh, so they have uh, several projects in this uh, magazine. It's uh, in check. So I don't read this. And uh, when I see this uh, magazine, I like, I need to buy it. So I went to the website and like, I don't speak Czech. <laughs> so I switched, um, I switched to English, of course. And when you switch to English, 
this uh, magazine doesn't show up so all the other uh, merchandise they have you can buy them but uh, the page for for the magazines it's it's empty when you switch to english language and i'm like okay <laughs> so i'm switching back to czech language and then use google translate to uh, to understand what is written yeah and i ordered I ordered it um, from uh, czech and um, it's arrived in Italy and I was so happy to start this little project. So I have a working copy here, like this, and it's from this journal. And uh, here is my start. I am using, I think, 16 count even leaf, uh, not even leaf, uh, Aida, uh, pre -quitted. And here's my start. Cute. so peaceful beautiful design I don't know by whom it design what it says here but it's from this uh, magazine yeah oh, very cute okay next up I will put together later otherwise it's gonna take me forever um what is next Ooh. Next up is <laughs> it's another stitch along. It was a period when I was signing up for all the stitch alongs and I'm behind like several years behind on all of them. I don't think I have finished a single one. <laughs> um, this is Grand Grand Pirulander. I cannot pronounce it correctly. I will insert picture I I forgot to print a uh, cover photo. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have tons of phosphate of it to do because it's going to be about 80,000 total stitches. It's a, a big piece. And I'm using uh, 38, um, 34. Yeah, right here. Ah, how organized I am. Look at me. That's from uh, my favorite uh, bar in Philadelphia. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm stitching this piece on a terrible fabric. It's Belarusian fabric, and it was so cheap. It was so extremely cheap. It, it was like for free. And when I saw it on website, I was ordering online other stuff, and I saw this fabric, and I like. Uh, how how possible it could be that fabric can be that cheap? Uh, so I decided to order it, and yeah, uh, now I understand why it's so cheap. It's bad fabric, but I, I got a big piece, and I'm like, okay, one piece I can do in it, and here is my progress. I don't know if I even can make it in the frame. Can you? Do you see this guy? Oh. First, it's going to be enormous, and here is my progress. So I'm stitching still the top row, I'm like two years behind. <laughs> and um, I'm, uh, modified it, I'm modified a little bit as a top part, so it, it should be one row of crowns and uh, then one row of, um, uh, of letters. But I decided to do only crowns, and because for this, uh, this is a beautiful design, and you get it in three variations. So you can pick and choose from three different um, options to stitch, uh, to combine, and to have your own uh, beautiful uh, sampler. So I decided to have all the crowns from all the three variants uh, stitched in here in a row, and I'm combining first row. The idea is that I'm doing them all. Uh, like in base you know, because there are other uh, round um, uh, different styles uh, different motifs and I'm using all that are in bases for the first row and then I will continue <laughs> who knows when but, but I think it's gonna be very beautiful yeah okay what's next Next one is uh, Calliopsis. 
I'm gonna show you because I cannot pronounce this. Uh, let, uh, just a second, let me cover. Let me cover. Uh, because it's it comes already uh, with chart here, so I'm covering the chart. It's also a freebie from uh, from this website, and I think it will be a beautiful finish for simple and I don't know some applied items you can make. Yeah, and I choose to stitch it on uh, this colored fabric which I will not tell you where it, it comes from, because it comes from Russia. So I am not advertising any, anything coming from there. And I'm not sure if it's upside down or not. I just barely started it. For this one, I'm using uh, this fancy foss. Uh, not fancy, it's uh, just not regular foss uh, from DMC. Uh, so it's a little tricky to stitch, but it's going to be cute. And the design is not that large, so I think it will be fine. Yeah, it should be beautiful. Again, uh, we'll finish in some... Uh, who knows, maybe I will do a frame piece as well. I don't know. The next two projects live in this um, project bag that I made myself. And it was a complete experiment because I wanted to do uh, this um, transparent part on the back. But it turns out it w wasn't a good idea because when you try to connect um, two-sided, uh, when from one side you have um, the zipper and from other side you have this um, transparent part, the new part, it's difficult to put together. So it's really like a messy stitching. So trial and error when you try to create something. But it's it's a good project back. So next two projects are um, coming from Stitch Rovia. First one is on the beach. Mm -hmm. ah, somehow uh, many uh, European stitching is connected to the summer, summer and the beach. <laughs> Who knows why? I wonder. <laughs> uh, on the beach, this uh, I bought it in one, so it's uh, in partner keep on already. Just and here's my progress. I'm stitching it on even weave, Vanguard, um, 16 count, uh, it's probably 32 count, so uh, 16 count um, when you do over two. Yeah, cute. And another nice decoration can be for summertime. And in the same project bag, there is another, um, there is another project from the uh, same designer. And it is pished. <laughs> so when I first saw it, um, I was thinking about getting a PhD in America, do a degree, uh, uh, Doctor of Veterinary Medicine and PhD. In America, there is such opportunity to do. Uh, in Europe, no, it's two different degrees. You can't uh, do them in one place, in uh, one one degree. Uh, and of course, in teaching PhD means a little bit different. <laughs> Project half done. And I have many, many project hauls done. So it's a cute way of work. Uh, wait, this. Like stitching it. This one I've already started. I'm stitching it on unknown uh, um, Aida that I found in a thrift shop. In America, when I was thrifting, I found it like that. So somebody, um, some fellow stitcher, uh, one day stitched something here and cut it out and then the rest uh, appeared in a thrift shop in uh, America. So I decided to use it and here's my little start for PhD project. <laughs> I started <a> PhD. <laughs> yeah, cute. Oh, maybe I don't sh don't show it long enough because my mom, she watches my video and she said that I'm showing my project not long enough so she doesn't have enough time to appreciate my project and to carefully examine it. So especially for my mom, I'm keeping my project up to the camera for a little bit longer. Hi mom. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Mm. 
my next project. Um, you probably also know this uh, designer. Uh, it's uh, primitive hair. Uh, Italian designer and interesting fact is that a uh, designer behind this company she graduated from the university I am studying now so we have the same alma mater which is quite interesting and this is a project I'm working on currently it's called a scenario and I uh, I'm not I'm not um, using code for I'm using um, just what I have in stash and here is my start. I finished the um, frame and I'm putting all the, all the small little motifs. Cute. I like saying which uh, which is here like uh, came out of your shell. Um, take take time to cost. Um, be sure of yourself. It's, it's cute saying. I really like uh, the play of word which is um, used in this chapter. Yeah, I'm looking forward to have it on my wall, stitched, framed. It's a good re reminder to be sure of yourself. <laughs> and in the same bag, I have another chart of her, uh, which is wanted. <laughs> of course, cats. Oh my god, <laughs> guys, I I'm just teaching cats. <sighs> that's so quirky funny and yeah i want to stitch the cat i don't have fabric for it yet no, I, uh, and um, they have this fabric they sell also um, primitive here they sell this fabric and i can buy it in milan um but it's a little pricey so i still um haven't started this uh, cat but but of course i will stitch it and um, when I was in Ukraine last year, I think, I uh, found uh, like some random beads, uh, different colors to use for as a charms here, uh, because uh, it calls for several like random beads around. And I also find here in Italy um, this charm park of just random also uh, marine style things. So I will be incorporating them in my stitching. Uh, but in the end, when I finish uh, stitching, I can see uh, if it would be uh, beautiful on there. Okay, and then I wanted to show you. Uh, so this uh, September, I'm going to a stitching mania retreat in uh, Netherlands. I'm looking forward to it, and um, as a preparation for this retreat we've got a free chart uh, you can find it in facebook group which you're gonna say uh, deutsch mania and this is my start yeah so uh, i need to finish it before september unlike my other projects mm, and uh, the only thing that i'm changing is uh, color for <laughs> uh, i'm changing color for Deutsch Mini because it uh, should be in this red color, but I'm using this floss, a variegated floss I have in hand. And um, my idea is to finish it into a mini project bag, like a long project bag, cute one. And I want to maybe use uh, like rainbow fabric or zipper like to correlate, correlate with. Um, with the style of stitching. Uh, another project is also a free project from Facebook and it is um, Joyful Sow. It's such a cute sow. Uh, yeah, it, it, mm, it started many years ago. Um, I don't know how, several years ago. So many people already stitched it and finished it. And here I am on, on January still. Um, yeah, so I've, uh, I have a small start here also, but it's a different one. This uh, project that I forgot to show you in my uh, first Ukrainian themed uh, costume, it's a very, very tiny uh, start of, uh, it says, keep calm and love Ukraine, I think, something like that. 
and I decided to stitch it over one to try um, over one stitching because usually I do over two and my favorite um, size is uh, 32 for 16 count yeah so stitching over two this I think is 25 count so stitching over one would be 25 count too tiny for me yeah but I will finish this small project and it will be just a small part but this entire fabric was bought especially for hook <laughs> I bought it in Ukraine it's a uh, fabric made like that uh, and it's long it's long wait for it and it's gonna be all stitching here is my start on January on this count it's huge like you can see my hand that the uh, yeah big one uh, I'm doing all the special stitches using for uh, forces from my stash uh, some of them are called for some of them just just what I have and um, I want to do all months to do in a row like this so January February March and so on and so on and so on uh, yeah, and then my idea is to have it on some like kind of scroll frame, so uh, I can display it like this. And when the month finishes in the next count, I will roll it up, and I will have a new month sitting there. And then I will roll it up, and the next month, and like that. Yeah, so that's my idea for finishing. <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna happen because I'm still in January and it's not even done. Um, yeah, so that was all of my uh, European stitching, not that much. And you may see that um, it's not all of my weeks. Uh, I have more, but I'm not gonna show them because um, uh, because they were produced in a country that now is uh, aggressor number one in, in the world and um, I would feel bad if I were to show uh, kids coming from there and then I would get I will make uh, make you want to buy them then you will go buy them and uh, some of your money will go to finance war in my country I don't want that so I will keep stitching them I have about, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 weeks that were produced there. I bought them before the full scale, full scale invasion started. Uh, I like them. They're high quality, they're beautiful charts. M most of them are kids. I like stitching them and I will keep stitching them, but I will not show them. Because buying from, from them now means supporting what they do and I'm not gonna support that yeah so I like thrifting and in Italy I went for several thrift shops antique shops and just grocery shops in general and I find a few very interesting um, very interesting items that I want to share with you first one is this thing I have no idea what um, what company produced it. It doesn't look like DMC because um, it's it looks more like silk. It's already covered with make it here, um, and yeah, it's a huge cone of uh, six six thread embroidery um, floss. And I checked it. It doesn't. Uh, it, it's color fast. So I can stitch even uh, Vishavank uh, embroidered shirt with it. So I'm really looking forward to use this. Maybe I will use it for some, uh, I don't know, maybe for some um, sampler, uh, which is monochrome, it will, will be beautiful uh, in this uh, dark burgundy color. Or I may use it even a, as a embroidered shirt. It also would be beautiful, I think. Yeah, so and I think I will have enough for both project, even more project. And it costed me like a few euros. Such a beautiful find. Uh, another force I find in a different shop is a complete set 
of uh, DMC floss. It was covered in plastic, so it was completely new, never opened. And it's a whole set of these beautiful floss. It's size size 13? No. So it's quite thin. Yeah, maybe it is set. Look. And I wanted to use for the Schwanka for embroidery shirt. I have this um, Ukrainian fabric for the Schwanka. And I'm thinking that this will be a beautiful Vashvanka. Uh, remember uh, I told you about this special style of Ukrainian embroidery called white on white? Uh, so I was thinking about doing this white on white. Mm, it's not exactly white. Uh, and, uh, but I still want to use um, probably uh, the style of stitching which used for white on white. But it would be just a little bit different. But I think it will be beautiful. It would be like a light, um, uh, light, uh, light gold on gold on white. Beautiful, yeah. I'm so happy for, with this font because um, those flosses are quite expensive, and uh, when you have the whole set for like few euros, like, yes, please, yeah, I'm very happy with this font. And. Um, Another found I have oh, books. You guys know my I, I like books. I found this big book in a um, small town uh, near Milan, and it has it's a little dirty. <laughs> it's used book, uh, and it has be beautiful samplers from. Okay, let me see. Look at that sampler. Okay, yeah, it has many samplers, and some of them also has charts uh, corresponding to it, so you can stitch those uh, those samplers. It has many interesting antique samplers, which are just so beautiful. Look at that, so beautiful. Oh. Unfortunately, they don't have. Uh, charts for all the elements, just for some of them, but uh, it's still such an inspiration to go through this book and see what you can stitch, what people were stitching, because it's original samplers. From. Look at this red sampler. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. All the animals, I see cat. Wonderful, wonderful, this traditional stitching is just mm -hmm. this one. I like really much this uh, peaceful Italian theme with um, um, this little boats and uh, little castle. Uh, actually, I think this is saying in old French, it's not Italian. So it, 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 it is interesting how in Italy, uh, how in Europe, it's all uh, combining all this traditional stitching from different countries. Beautiful, and there are many <laughs> with animals here, and of course, it's my favorite stitching animals. Beautiful book. I'm so happy I found it, and that I have it now in my in my collection. Uh, so I can get an inspiration and maybe stitch some some of the uh, motifs. Uh, so there is another shop which located about hour and a, hour and a half driving from Milan. Uh, yeah, I was checking out all the shops around Milan, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's quite a big one, uh, located in a small city and a uh, small town even I would say. Um, and they have sewing materials, cross stitch, uh, yarn. Yeah, they have d different options for um, for the crafty things. And they have uh, one like dedicated corner for materials, uh, journals, and other materials that were donated uh, by a family of a woman uh, who passed away, and she was a a uh, very inspirational teacher. She did many, many projects and all, all her lifetime she accumulated these uh, materials 
And this family, they donated it to this shop. And now this shop is just freely offer all these materials that you can just go and pick it up for free if you like it. And they have like shelves and shelves of it. Um, yeah, so uh, I picked up for myself a little bit of uh, charts. And one of the uh, charts that mm, it's from some old magazines, I will probably won't be showing the entire chart, but I don't have a cover picture, of course. I will show it. Yes. It's a chart of um, animals, of course, and uh, some beautiful scene. Uh, it can be stitched in like some first style. Um, beautiful. I want to stitch it. And uh, it's cute how you have. Uh, how you have your notes here, so she was teaching something, she was doing some notes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, you know, when you can touch uh, this history, this heritage of people who do beautiful stuff. Um, yeah. And the few are the cute. <laughs> Here's a cat. <laughs> this is a cat. Oh. Yeah, I will stitch that cat. <laughs> and I think there's another chart also um, with some animals around. Yeah, so I like those findings, um, those treasures that um, are not very classic ones, but it's so beautiful to stitch. Okay, I think I should... Uh, no, I, I have uh, uh, one more. Another antique story. I found um, this piece. I don't know who, by whom it was stitched, um, but it's so beautiful. So beautiful knowing that uh, somebody stitched it and framed it and enjoyed it. Uh, and it says that it's then ended up in an um, antique shop, but I was happy to pick it up. And another thing, you know, it's uh, in Italy, in Italy, I think it quite often. It's it's a frame, but it's not really a frame because it's a tray. It's a tray. And they have many, like even uh, in new in shops, you can buy new like, trays where you can incorporate your stitching and use it and finish it like this. Not like a frame on a wall, but as a tray and have uh, like stuff on it. That's an interesting finish idea. Yeah, so I haven't decided what I'm going to do with uh, this piece. Uh, my first idea was to finish it in a project bag, uh, to take it out of the frame because it's dirty here and uh, I want to like wash it. And I'm not sure if I should wash it because I don't know what force she used. Okay. Uh, yeah, beautiful piece. Yeah, that was it for my uh, European station. Um, um, yes, yeah, said wife of the update. Um, so now I have only one cat. Uh, yeah, I, my other cat, she passed away last week. We put her down because um, she was not that old. She was 13 years old. Uh, she was so beautiful, but she got cancer. And um, we were trying to save her. She got a surgery four months ago. Um, and um, for some time in health, she was happy for those uh, few months. Uh, no pain, so she was living quite uh, full and beautiful life. But over the last week, it quite, um, quite uh, quickly became really bad. I see cancer got into the brain and yeah, so it's it's so empty without her. I had her for 13 years. Such a beautiful cat. I don't want to live without her. I think that's my other cat trying to destroy something as usual. And my other cat, I think. Uh, now she is a little bored without her. They uh, they never were friends. They like they were not enemies, but they like okay. You are here. You are living in the same building with me, but you are not my friend. <laughs> and yeah, they had a beautiful cat life. And I think now uh, it's not like she is missing her, but I can see that she is getting. Uh, 
asking for more attention from my side, uh, the one that she used to get from the other cat before. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Yeah, so that's it for my European stitching. And I will see you guys uh, in uh, Milan uh, cross stitch shops next time. Um, yeah, and uh, my next post tube will be just regular date. Uh, I, I was teaching. Uh, I was teaching on my embroidery shirt. I, I have quite a decent project uh, progress on it, so I want to show it. Um, maybe I will already film it next week after I film uh, visits to uh, Milan uh, shops. Yeah, any question qualification, please uh, leave them down below. Please subscribe and uh, yeah, and for everybody who subscribed, thank you. Wow, I didn't expect it's a big number, <laughs> but it's not about number. Uh, it's about um, this beautiful community when I read through your comments. Oh my God, guys, you just, you're just making my days. It's my now every morning routine. I uh, wake up and like, ah, new comments, new comments. <laughs> Yeah, I try to respond to everyone. Yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and um, happy stitching. Bye. I will cut it off. <laughs> this one is. Are you serious?